Hi, today I am going to deal with a new topic that is complications of diabetes mellitus. It is mainly divided to DKA and HHMS. What is DKA? Diabetic Ketoacidosis. And what is HHMS? Hyperglycemic Hyperosmolar Non-Ketotic Syndrome. So let me discuss first what is DKA. From the name itself, DKA you want split into two. Diabetes means uncontrolled sugar level. Uncontrolled sugar level can lead to production of ketone bodies which makes body acidic. That is called diabetic ketoacidosis. The main cause for DK is lack of insulin. That means if insulin is very low in the body, there is a high risk of developing this complication. And you know, the main specialty of this, uh, this disease condition is there will be some ketone bodies production in the body and the blood sugar will be above 300 mg per day. And the most classical feature is Kussmaul's respiration. That means fruity order with a deep shallow respiration with an increased respiratory rate. And what are the main interventions for this? The main intervention is fluid. As you know that in diabetic ketoacidosis, there is a chance for severe dehydration. So first action is what? Fluid. And second action is what? Regular insulin IV. Why we are giving fluid? You know, fluid will help to achieve the organ perfusion. Moreover, it will decrease the sugar level in the body once the fluid is very high in the body. So this is all about diabetic ketoacidosis. So let me deal with HHNS. From the, from the name itself, you know, hyperglycemic, hyperosmolar, non-ketotic syndrome means sugar is very high, urine osmolarity is high, no ketone bodies. That is the main special. Here ketone body is present, here ketone body is absent. And the main cause for HHNS is severe dehydration. And the blood sugar we can see above 800 mg per year. It occurs because of severe dehydration. And the patient will, will be having severe weakness and, and the skin will be very dry. Here the treatment is fluid resuscitation. Insulin doesn't play any major role in this disease because the cause of this disease is severe dehydration. 